previously on our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge. Hawkeye grew to level 27 and we began teaching it Wing Attack. We decided to replace Gust as Wing Attack has a higher base power and the same amount of PP. Aragog grew to level 25 and attempted to learn Leech Life. We decided to replace String Shot with Leech Life as even though it has a low base power it allows Aragog to regain some HP from any enemy that it attacks. Guy grew to level 25 and attempted to learn Dragon Rage. The obvious choice was to get rid of Splash for Dragon Rage, and now we have guaranteed 40 HP damage on any Pokemon. Toxin grew to level 25 and also attempted to learn Leech Life. After much consideration, I decided that I enjoyed Toxin's moveset as it was, and decided not to teach him Leech Life in the end. Slackjaw grew to level 29 and attempted to learn Stomp. However, Stomp had lower base power and a less useful side effect than both Body Slam and Uproar. So in the end, I decided to not let Slackjaw learn Stomp. Toxin grew to level 28 and attempted to learn Stun Spore. But the same thing happened as before. I was already quite content with Toxin's moveset found that Poison Powder would be more useful and stopped learning Stun Spore. Gaia grew to level 30 and attempted to learn Leah, and I didn't even bother pretending to learn that one. Riptide nearly got taken out by this slack of here, but lived to fight another day. He also learned Flail at level 30. Finally, with all our Pokemon at level 30, I ran back to the Pokemon in Familiar City, topped up on Super Potions, Antidotes, Paralyze Heals, Awakenings, and I believe I even topped out my Pokeball count. Before heading off to the SSN to save in front of the area where we would battle our rival Blue. I also got lost in the kitchen for a little bit there, but managed to find my way there in the end. And now you're up to date with our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge. Hey guys. Welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Today, we are about to take on our rival Blue. But first, we'll do a quick team recap. So as you can see, everyone reached level 30 after a bunch of grinding just outside Vermilion City. And you would have seen in the grinding montage that uh, our Pokemon learned a bunch of new moves. So Riptide is on level 30 with Wing Attack, Splash, Tackle, and Flail. Hopefully Flail comes in handy. I I don't intend to let Riptide uh, get down to that lower health though. So it might be a useless move. Next we have Orgai with Wing Attack, Quick Attack, Ancient Power, and Sand Attack. Toxin with Dizzy Punch, Disable, Confusion, and Poison Powder. Aragog with Poison Sting, Leech Life, which actually does quite a bit of damage, despite it only being uh, base 20 power and stab, taking it up to 30. Um, still was like 2 hitting a lot of uh, Pokemon. Nightshade and Dig. Slackjaw with Body Slam, Uproar, Astonish, and Howl. And Gaia with Tackle, Arm Thrust, Bite, and Dragon Rage, which is quite handy for doing um, guaranteed 40 health damage. So we're about to head into the fight with Blue, and I don't really want to lead with Riptide. So we're going to start off with our strongest Mon, We'll lead with Gaia. Bonjour, Red. Imagine seeing you here, Red. Were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Unfortunately, we are doing a challenge that allows us only one Pokemon per area. So he sends out a Nidorino. Oh, we might be a bit overleveled. I 
thought he had a higher level Pokemon than this. Uh, we'll just go for Dragon Rage, I guess. Ah, oh, don't poison. I bet you it will. Oh my goodness. Good start. Oh well, it's not like he can do much to us. So we faint the Nidorito and get 480 experience. So we'll swap Pokemon to Riptide. Because I feel safe swapping him in now. That we can control the um, the battle a bit. Alright, I actually don't want to take an attack from this though. So I'll go back. Who wants to take a hit? Oh god, I don't want to get poisoned. We'll swap into Toxin. I'm definitely way too overleveled for this. I thought he was going to be around level 30. I uh, normally wouldn't level up that much. feel a bit bad now. Took me a long time to grind up 10 levels as well. That's right, we'll sweep blue. We'll crush him. So we'll take out the survivor with two confusions. Get 350 experience for both our Pokemon. And he's going to send out a Furret. Um, so now we can go into Riptide. Because Riptide can take a Furret, I think. Furret's not too scary. And it's pretty weak. So Wing Attack should do decent damage. Alright, it would have been good if it had done a little bit more. Hopefully this Farad's not going to set up too many defense curls on us. Okay. But Riptide comes through with a critical hit anyway. 397 experience and a lady and we can definitely take out. Since bug type. Very nice. Well done Riptide. Even Phoebus is putting in hard yards these days. Gains 516 experience and we defeat Rival Blue. Umph. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. I did not realize how weak your Pokemon were going to be. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Da -da 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 -da. So we'll go up and see the captain. Oh, goodness, I forgot Kai was poisoned. Let's fix that right away. What did I just try and use? Oh, Awakening, my bad. So all my good stuff's down here, I think. Antidote. So we healed up our Gyarados. I'm gonna move this to the top. Because we want all the easy stuff up the top. So we can use it quickly. Potion can go down a bit. Awakening, come up. Burn heal, come up. Paralyze heal can be above those two. That should be good, I think. Alright. Oh, I feel hideous. Ugh, seasick. Red rubbed the captain's back. Rub, 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 rub. Phew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You wanted to see my hidden cut technique. I could show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know, you can have this, this hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. So you receive HM1. Using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? I will. Yuck, shouldn't have looked. <laughs> crammed full of Pokemon books. Is this his journal? How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. <laughs> Maybe you should rethink his life. So we're gonna run on out of here. And I feel pretty confident in taking on uh, Lieutenant Surge now. Because we destroyed Blue's team. But we're gonna wave goodbye to the SSN as it sets off for another year. That's either a very
very small ship, or we are a lot larger than I realized. Alright, and it's out of here. The ship has set sail. So that guy's just standing on, uh, on duty for no reason now then. Because no other ship's ever come here. Alright, so we have a lot of supplies, so we don't have to go shopping. We can go heal up, I suppose. Excuse me. Get a little bit of our health back. Pokemon, please. I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put Riptide back out the front because he's pretty close to evolving now. He's only got seven levels left, and I want that to happen as soon as we can because he is not viable as a Phoebus for much longer. But we have to head down here, and oh, I probably should have checked while I was in the Pokemon Center, so I'll check here because I'm not sure if. Any of our Pokemon can land cut, and they can't. So we have to go to our PC and see if anyone can learn cut. Which means someone's going to get left behind for this battle. But I'll pick them up for this gym, sorry. But I'll pick them up. Whoop. Uh, after the battle. So who wants to stay behind? I think it's pretty obvious we're going to have to leave Riptide behind for a bit, but we will come back. Now you can learn Cut. Can El Nombre learn Cut? Give him a try. Tyro can probably learn it. Nope, El Nombre cannot learn Cut. Okay, so go back to our PC and we'll shift our entire party around a bit until we can find someone that can learn cut. So we'll put this guy back in here. Shininja can actually probably learn it too. Ah, uh, Smeagol probably can. Probiscus can't. Take Grappler out. So I'm just taking them out to see who can learn cut. Psycho and Pike. Okay. And uh, I'll put the others back in after I've taught cut to someone. Okay. Shrouding is coming with us then. Which will be scary. Hopefully, we don't have to swap into it. We have to get rid of a move to teach it cut. Uh, which one? Well, probably Harden, right? It's really the only viable move to get rid of, since we don't want to boost our attack. Machine set. Shrouding land, cut. So I'll chuck all the other guys back in. Pike. Sit there. Sit there. Loudred. Sorry, Slackjaw and Gaia. You'll come back now. None of these guys have items, do they? Choice man. Alright. So now that we have a Pokemon that has cut, we can go take on the gym. I'm actually going to swap Shredding to the very back of our party so I don't actually swap into him. experience for slack for um <sighs> honestly I suppose we can just get experience for um riptide somewhere else it's just that it would have been good to have it from this gym but we're gonna run down Shredding cuts down the tree with its claws, I suppose, and uh, prepare for one of the most annoying puzzles in history. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. His 
an expert on electric Pokemon, bird slash water type Pokemon match poorly against, why do you call it bird type, should be flying type, I never noticed that, electric type, beware of paralysis too, Lieutenant Surge is very cautious, he's locked himself in so it won't be easy getting to him, so we'll take out these trainers first, this is no place for kids, not even if you're good. Sailor Dwayne would like to battle, and he sends out a Mankey, which is excellent because we are leading accidentally with Hawkeye. Just go straight for a wing attack, and no need to muck around. So we take out the Mankey, and we get uh, 333 experience. A slack off. So we'll swap into Gaia, who has Arm Thrust. and can take out this slack off no problem. Well, actually, probably anyone could have, but what are you gonna do? So go for the arm thrust. Wow, critical hit, so it's a one hit KO. <laughs> Don't get very much experience though. Wow, surprised me. $672 for winning. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Oh, I see, I see. I get it. Engineer Bailey would like to battle. He sends out Psyduck. Um, we can swap into Gaia. Who has Bite, which will... Wait, this Psyduck? I always forget this Psyduck. Part Psychic type. Guess we'll find out. I think I've had this battle before. And I've forgotten. Nope, he is not part psychic type. But we get to flinch, so we'll just go for bite again. And we take out Psyduck. Cool fish. Watch we'll us stay into Gaia. I'll try not to overuse Gaia though, or get him killed. Let's we'll go for a Dragon Rage. Which does heaps. So this cool fish doesn't have that much HP. Seems to have around f maybe 50, 45. Guy gains 500 experience, and we defeat Engineer Bailey. Get a fair bit of dosh from him, too. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. It's interesting they talk about a war. Only in this gym and never anywhere else. Gentleman Tucker would like to battle. Sends out a bell sprout. Well, that's super disappointing. Something cooler would have been nice. But we take it out with a single wing attack because Hawkeye is a monster. I always run Pidget. Oh, well, I always used to run Pidget. Stop, you're very good. Uh, back in like. Red, blue, gold, silver days. Always run a pigeon. My favourite. Alright, this is going to be a long part. And it's honestly the least entertaining puzzle in the entire Pokemon game series. And I... I don't have very warm feelings for whoever designed it. Alright, so we go switch. Okay, that was pretty easy. Got on the first go, that's super lucky. Sometimes I'm stuck there forever. How's everyone's health looking? Pretty much tip top shape, so we'll just start the battle. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not without your pu uh, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Yeah, yeah, you talk tough. As long as you don't have a one on or a Wobbuffet, fed, we'll be fine. Sends out a tentacle. Okay. Not very scary, so we should be okay. We'll go for a wing attack. And we get a critical hit. My Pokemon love getting critical hits. We take out a whole guy. I mean, we take out tentacle. And Arbok. I love Arbok. We're gonna swap into... Uh, Toxin, who can get 
some super effective damage with confusion. I love Arbok. I really have to make an Arbok in uh, Pokemon Showdown. I love Coil and Glare and all that. We get the confusion on uh, confusion. <laughs> and he uses Glare and paralyzes my toxin. Which is interesting because that's that's basically what he does in this game anyway. Full heal? What? Oh, he used a full heal to snap it out of confusion. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it's interesting that Arbok got the paral paralysis on me because that's what Surge is all about. Talks about paralysis all the time. So it's cool they still gave him that paralysis Pokemon. 750 experience and he sent out a pine go oh will it have explosion it probably will I was gonna send out Schroding and get him some experience while he was here which would have been ideal because if he uses explosion he can't kill me with wonder guard but we're not gonna take any chances use protect God, I thought it outsped me and used our explosion then. But we're going to outspeed next turn. Hopefully one hit KO with a wing attack. So we don't have to deal with any explosions. Dorka gains 230 experience and we defeat Leader Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. Red got 2400 for winning. Thanks buddy, the Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. Your special kid, take this. Red received, DM34. Contains something and teach to your favorite Pokemon. I hope it's a good move, please be a good move. DM34, future sight, that is not a good move. <sighs> well, not a move that I'm interested in, in learning anyway. But we have our third badge. Oh, we have to keep Schroding with us for a while, don't we? So we can get to Rock Tunnel. Which, as a side note, we have to run blind. Because, uh, round two. We have to run blind because we don't have enough Pokemon, I believe, to get to <laughs> Flash from Professor X aid. And we don't want to bend the rules for our own sake. So heal everyone up. I hate having to use particular TMs like strength, etc. It's just not fun. Alright, do I have any repels? Because I want to run back to Route 2, get some items from there. So I'm going to buy a couple repels if they have a minute repel. How many steps is that? Not many. We'll buy ten. Okay, yeah. Uh, give me another one. Thank you. Nope, that's enough. So we're gonna quickly whack on a repel. Run back down to Viridian City through Diglett Cave to get a couple items. Suppose I can do it in here, can't I? Save some steps. as well. Alright, I'm gonna run through Diglett Cave. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Run, 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 run. I wish it asked if it, if you wanted to use another repel automatically like it does in Gen 6. That was a good feature. Okay. Excuse me. Right. Nothing up there. Okay. That's fine. Painted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. I can still use moves like cut outside of battle. I'm looking for the Pokemon Dragon here. Want to trade on for my Pugiana? No, I don't. That sounds like an awful trade. I do like 
Dark Mardian up it. It's definitely not worth a dragon hit. So we'll head down here. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. I remember me, I want a Professor Oak's AIDS. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. No. Seven kinds. It looks like we're going to be running into Rock Tunnel without it, which will be a pain. Because I can't remember the layout of Rock Tunnel in the slightest. Beep you up. That's handy. Actually, don't mind that. Stardust is a bit more useless, but we can sell it at least. Alright, so we're going to run back to Diglett Cave and head back to Vermilion. Then we have to head to... Uh... Cerulean. And out into the route. Get some encounters on the way to Rock Tunnel. And then head through Rock Tunnel. Won't that be fun? Alright, so we're going to pop a repel. At least our Pokemon are pretty high level, so we should be able to do Rock Tunnel in uh, hopefully one sitting. I should really buy some Super Repels or something if I can find them. Although I guess re normal Repels all I've got access to at the moment. That would be handy for Rock Tunnel. Unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to keep on running. Always running. And, uh... Yep, thank you. Go away. Back into the underground. Remind me to come back here when I have... Uh, I'm not going to get the item finder. So we're back at Route 5, just outside Cerulean City. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Um, do, 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 do I want some repels? I might stock up on repels before I go and sell that Stardust. Just in case. Can't be too careful. How many Pokemon do I have? 30, that should be enough. Escape rope, do I have some of those? Okay, let's buy four escape ropes. We might get into a sticky situation. And repels, we'll buy another... Can we... 14, let's get 14. Let's sell some stuff that we don't need. For example, X accuracy, never use those. Big pearl, get rid of that. Special defense stat. Uh, I think you can only give it. I think it only works on uh, Clan Pearl, though. Not too sure. Iron. Uh, we don't really want to use proteins and stuff. Drugs. I mean, what are they called? Vitamins. We don't want to use vitamins. Stardust. Sell that too. But we're going to keep everything else. I think. Maybe sell, whoops, not to turn down map. Maybe sell some of these useless TMs that we're not going to use. Poison Tail. Forgot I had that. Spite. We definitely don't ever want to use Spite. So, get rid of that. Sketch. I can't believe you have a Sketch TM and a, uh, a Picasso that knows it as well. That's so, super annoying. But we're going to head out. I didn't fight anything. Always take advantages or take advantage of uh, usable Pokemon centers. Never pass up an opportunity to heal, especially in a Nuzlocke challenge. So we are on a new route, which means we get a new encounter and it's going to be really hard to capture it because everyone is basically maxed out. 
let's level up Schrodinger while we're here, I guess, in case we ever have to use him. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. Picnic Alicia would like to battle, sends out a Psyduck. I don't think this has anything that can hit us super effective. But you know what, let's not, uh, let's not risk it just yet. Let's see what it goes for if we send in Hawkeye. Because if it has Astonish, withdrew, because he couldn't attack. I wonder if the, that's, that's super weird. You never see trainers like that just withdraw. That's really interesting. So we're going to send in uh, Schroding again. Was that dragon here? That's a worry. It can get dragon rage. Archidini, that's not so much a worry. What can this thing get? It can probably have twist arm. So that'll take us out. So we'll go back into Hawkeye. Leah. <laughs> Interesting. I'm still just amused that they switched out. Psyduck again, so I'll send in Schroding. I'm gonna risk an attack. Ah, I really can't bring myself to do it. I don't want to lose Schroding, because I can still use him for HMs. Disable. Okay. That's alright. 153 experience for both of our Pokemon Grimer. He, should, he won't have flying, he won't have rock. Poison's not a super effective. Probably won't have dark. I think we're safe to go for an attack. It's gonna harden though. That's annoying. Leech life is but good against poison. the wrong move. So Harden's going to be the only thing you can go for, I think. So this is going to be a really long battle. Unless we get some critical hits, which would be most welcome. But I definitely want a Troding to take out someone by himself. Oh, come on, don't miss. And now... Fury Swipes is disabled. Not cool. Ah, there we go. Just what the doctor ordered. So get a fair bit of XP for that. You deceived me. Shredding is not that fun to use without decent moves. TM17 conversion. That's not at all useful. We don't have a Porygon. Wahaha, great. I was bored, eh? Like a Jeremy would like to battle. We might not even uh, get to Rock Tunnel at this rate. What's he gonna have? He won't have Dark. He won't have Shadow Ball. Astonish, maybe. Nah, we should be okay. We'll go for it. Nah, good try. Bug is super effective against Psychic, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. One hit KO. Schroding gained 312 experience. Kabuto. So we'll stay in and then swap out because he probably has a rock type move. Or it's at least possible for him to have a rock type move. Let's send in Aragog. We haven't seen Aragog this episode. Harden. Okay, mustn't have rock type moves then. Not a problem. We're going to go straight for a dig. So it's going to do fixed damage anyway. Absorb. I'm not going to do too much damage at all. I'm going to take it out with Nightshade now. If we can get Aragog to a really high level, 
Nightshade's going to be really handy later. So we defeat Arcturamine. Keep it coming, eh? Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon. I think he's supposed to be Canadian. this guy. Who's that walking there with those good-looking Pokemon? Oh, that's a really nice thing to say. Thank you, sir. Camper Chris would like to battle. Sends out a Spoink. Who have you got out the front? Schroding. Oh, goodness. We should be okay. Does Otis Sleuth work? No, that wouldn't work, would it? Not on Wonder Guard. Yeah, look at that. Wonder Guard. It's so risky having a, uh, a Shedinja, especially if they have, um, Poison Powder or Will-O-Wisp or something. Gain 400 experience and Shredding goes to level 19. Trying to learn Mind Reader. What does that do again? I can't remember. Makes the next attack hit. No, that's fine. So we'll stay in on this dude as well. Just go for the cut. Okay, this one's for some reason bulkier than the other one. Alright, it's gonna take forever. We're gonna swap out. there. <laughs> oh, okay, this is frustrating already. Minimize is such a, such an irritating move. Look at this nonsense. So this is why I was trying to land Mind Reader. It was trying to warn me. Thank you. God, take it out. I, I hate having to deal with Minimize. Thank you. So they each get 202 experience, so we defeat Camper Chris. Out luck a lot. Take out this bug catcher as well. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. That's actually really good to see, mate. That is, uh, that is dedication to your team. We appreciate that around here. Sends out a Magby. So we're not going to stay in on this, because it's probably got Ember. I wish I had a fire Pokemon to absorb fire attacks because nothing really likes getting burnt on my team. Leah. Interesting, I thought it would have gone straight for the super effective move. Uh, I guess Dragon Rage. It probably doesn't have that much HP. Oh, nearly takes it out. See, why would you go for Leah on a Shedinja? It's not going to make a difference how much damage you can do to it, if you can damage it at all with Ember. I like it. What type is Shroding? Is it Flying type as well? Bug Ghost. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So we can actually go down to Psychic type moves. That's not good. I had that against Psychic types. I thought it was Bug Flying. Now I've forgotten who he's sending out, so we'll just send in Toxin. Oh, that kid. That's fine. A bug poison. We'll go for the confusion. Should do a fair amount. Doesn't quite take it out, but he doesn't go for quick attack this turn, so we will take him out now. What? What a total waste of time. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get my encounter here. Let's make sure Toxin's out in front so we can get the poison. So way to repel. That's actually handy. Super repel would have been better. So that's duplication claws. So we're just gonna go ahead and run away from that. Enough with the spearos. No bug or flying. Togepi, right? That's 
interesting at least. So we'll go for poison powder. Charm. Alright, so I'm going to stall out a couple of turns of poison. Uh, better not use that, so we'll just go for poison powder again. Because I don't know what moves he wants to use. Yawn. Ah, oh, damn it. That's so annoying. Alright, we'll go for a Pokeball now anyway. Behave. Two, three. Yay! Lovely. Take a piece of the first interesting Pokemon we've caught. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's still a normal type for crying out loud. Give a name to the captured Tokepi. Yes. Right, it's a female Tokepi, so I was going to call him Benedict. Like ex Benedict, but it's a uh, it's a girl. So I'm gonna call her. It's gonna fit. It is Bernadette. Ex Bernadette. <laughs> okay, Bernadette was transferred to Bill's PC, and we're gonna continue up this way. I think there's a lot more trainers up here, though, isn't there? If I'm not mistaken, there's at least one. I don't want to have another battle, that's the only thing, yet. Alright, so I will actually... I hate saving in the middle of nowhere. But, we're going to save here. And, uh, we'll continue where we left off in the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a great week.